three things. I'm Les Gray. I'd like to tell you about the bell rope warmer that uh, I have designed and made. I made the warmer um, to overcome the problem um, of the bell ropes becoming damp and stiff in the atmosphere inside the church during winter. The tag at the end of the bell rope is actually made of flax and when it does get cold and damp uh, it becomes inflexible and a bit stiff and uh, makes manipulation of the rope when ringing difficult um, and that is the problem that the warmer um, overcomes. I made the warmer from readily available materials um, and it is essentially a pipe with a light bulb at the bottom secured in a frame made of plywood. The tags of the bell ropes simply slot into the tube and are kept warm by the hot air or warm air rising up from the bulb at the bottom just creating enough heat to resolve the problem. This is the tube component of the warmer. It's actually about two meters long and is a simply a piece of 100 millimeter uh, soil pipe or drainage pipe. Um, across the bottom of the warmer above the light bulb is a piece of wire holding up a piece of mesh this is to stop the bell ropes coming down the tube far enough to touch the bulb, uh, hence preventing any sort of hazard with the ropes touching the bulb and becoming a fire hazard or burning. The mesh also, of course, allows the warm air coming off the bulb to rise up and circulate through the ropes. This is the base of the warmer which is constructed from two interlocking slotted sheets of plywood to form the supports uh, with a guide piece on top to take the tube. In the bottom there is an ordinary bulb holder um, which has, has been fitted in such a way that it will protrude into the pipe and the, and the timber is cut such as it will allow air to enter at the bottom of the pipe around the bulb holder. The bulb holder and bulb is simply wired back to an ordinary socket and uh, can easily be switched off and on as required. When the bulb is on at the bottom of the bell warmer, cool air goes in at the bottom and is warmed by the bulb. This gradually rises through the tube, past the gauze and circulates over the ropes, gradually warming them and drying them. The bell ropes can be neatly stored in the bell warmer uh, when ringing is not taking place and um, of course if the uh, bells are up the safety warning notice can be applied as you see there. Here in St Margaret's Church in Wetton, the bell warmer has turned out to be a very useful and effective device for keeping the ropes supple and dry. Making a bell warmer is in actual fact a relatively straightforward do-it-yourself project. If you do make one, please do have the electrical installation checked out by a qualified electrician before you use the warmer. Thank you for listening.